Hey, God bless y'all. We're going to be reading Exodus chapters 35 and 36 today. We read the word of the Lord, honoring the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And Moses gathered all the congregation of the children of Israel together and said unto them, These are the words which the Lord hath commanded that ye should do them. Six days shall work be done, but on the seventh day there shall be to you an holy day, a Sabbath of rest to the Lord. Whosoever doeth work therein shall be put to death. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. And Moses spake unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, saying, This is the thing which the Lord ha Lord commanded, saying, Take ye from among you an offering unto the Lord. Whosoever is of willing heart, let him bring it an offering of the Lord, gold and silver and brass and blue and purple and scarlet and fine linen and goat's hair and ram skin dyed red and badger skins and shittim wood and oil for the light and spices for anointing oil and for the sweet incense and onyx stones and stones to be set for the ephod and for the breastplate and every wise hearted among you shall come and make all that the Lord hath commanded the tabernacle his tent and his covering his tatches tash, tashes and his boards his bars his pillars and his sockets the ark and the staves thereof with the mercy seat and the veil of the covering, the table and his staves and all his vessels and the shoe bread, the candlestick also for the light and his furniture and his lamps with the oil for the light, and the incense altar and his staves and the anointing oil and the sweet incense and the hanging for the door of the entering in of the tabernacle, the altar of burnt offering with his brazen gate, his staves and all his vessels, the laver and his foot, the hangings of the court, his pillars and their sockets, and the hanging for the door of the court, the pins of the tabernacle, and the pins of the court and their cords, the cloth of service to do service in the holy place, the holy garments for Aaron the priest, and the garments of his sons to minister in the priest's office, and all the congregation of the children of Israel departed from the presence of Moses, and they came, every one whose heart stirred him up, and every one whom his spirit made willing. And they brought the Lord's offering to the work of the tabernacle of the congregation and for all his service and for the holy garments. And they came, both men and women, as many as were willing hearted and brought bracelets and earrings and rings and tablets, all jewels of gold and every man that offered an offering of gold unto the Lord. And every man with whom was found blue and purple and scarlet and fine linen and goat's hair and red skins of rams and badger skins brought them, every one that did offer an offering of silver and brass, brought the Lord's offering and every man with whom was found shittim wood for any work of the service brought it and all the women that were wise hearted did spin with their hands and brought that which they had spun both of blue and of purple and of scarlet and of fine linen and all the women whose hearts whose heart stirred them up in wisdom spun goat's hair and the rulers brought onyx stones and so stones to be set for the ephod and for the breastplate and spice and oil for the light and for the anointing oil and for the sweet incense the children of israel brought a willing offering unto the lord every man and woman whose heart made them willing to bring for all manner of work which the lord had commanded to be made by the hand of moses and moses said unto the children of israel see the lord hath called by name bezaleel the son of uri the son of her of the tribe of judah and he hath filled him with the spirit of god and wisdom in understanding and in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship, and to devise curious works, to work in gold, and in silver, and in brass, and in the cutting of stones, to set them, and in carving of wood, to make any manner of cunning work. And he hath put in his heart that he may teach both he and Aholiab, the son of Ahisamach, of the tribe of Dan. Them hath he filled with wisdom of heart, to work all manner of work, of the engraver, and of the cunning workman, and of their embroiderer in blue and in purple and scarlet and in fine linen and of the weaver even of them that do any work and of those that devise cunning work then brought bezaleel and aholiab and every wise hearted man in whom the lord put wisdom and understanding to know how to work all manner of work for the service of the sanctuary according to all that the lord had commanded and moses called bezaleel and aholiab and every wise hearted man in whose heart the lord had put wisdom even every one whose heart stirred him up to come unto the work to do it. And they received of Moses all the offering, 
which the children of Israel had brought for the work of the service of the sanctuary to make it withal. And they brought yet unto him free offerings every morning. And all the wise men that wrought all the work of the sanctuary came every man from his work which they made. And they spake unto Moses, saying, The people bring much more than enough for the service of the work which the Lord commanded to make. And Moses gave commandment, and they caused it to be proclaimed throughout the camp, saying, Let neither man nor woman make any more work for the offering of the sanctuary. So the people were restrained from bringing, for the stuff they had was sufficient for all the work to make it, and too much. And every wise-hearted man among them that wrought the work of the tabernacle made ten curtains of fine twined linen, and blue and purple and scarlet with cherubims of cunning work he made he them. The length of one curtain was twenty and eight cubits, and the breadth of one curtain for four cubits. The curtains were all of one size. And he coupled the five curtains one unto another, and the other five curtains he coupled one unto another. And he made loops of blue on the edge of one curtain from the selvage and the coupling. Likewise he made in the uttermost side of another curtain, in the coupling of the second, fifty loops made he in one curtain, and fifty loops made he in the, sec in the edge of the curtain which was in the coupling of the second. The loops held one curtain to another, and he made fifty tachets of gold, and coupled the curtains one unto another with the tachets, so it became one tabernacle. And he made curtains of goat's hair for the tent over the tabernacle, eleven curtains he made them. The length of one curtain was thirty cubits, and four cubits was the breadth of one curtain. The eleven curtains were of one size. And he coupled five curtains by themselves, and six curtains by themselves. And he made fifty loops upon the uttermost edge of the curtain in the coupling. And fifty loops made he upon the edge of the curtain, which coupled it to second. And he made fifty tachets of brass to couple the tent together, that it might be one. And he made a covering for the tent of ram's skins dyed red, and a covering of badger's skins above that. And he made boards for the tabernacle of shittim wood, standing up, the length of a board was ten cubits, and the breadth of a board one cubit and a half. One board had two tenons equally distant, one from another. Thus did he make for all the boards of the tabernacle. And he made boards for the tabernacle, twenty boards for the south side southward, and forty sockets of silver he made under the twenty boards, two sockets under one board for his two tenons, and two sockets under another board for his two tenons, and for the other side of the tabernacle, which is toward the north corner, he made twenty boards, and there forty sockets of silver, two sockets under one board, and two sockets under another board, and for the sides of the tabernacle westward he made six boards, and two boards made he for the corners of the tabernacle in the two sides, and they were coupled beneath and coupled together at the head thereof, to one ring thus he did to both of them in both the corners. And there were eight boards, and their sockets were sixteen sockets of silver, under every board two sockets. And he made bars of shittim wood, five for the boards of the one side of the tabernacle, and five bars for the boards of the other side of the tabernacle, and five bars for the boards of the tabernacle for the sides westward. And he made them a little bar to shoot through the boards from the one end to the other. And he overlaid the boards with gold, and made their rings of gold to be places for the bars, and overlaid the bars with gold. And he made a veil of blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen. With cherubims made he it of cunning work. And he made therein two four pillars of shittim wood, and overlaid them with gold. Their hooks were of gold, and he cast for them four sockets of silver. And he made an hanging for the tabernacle door of blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen of needlework. And the five pillars of it with their hooks, and he overlaid their chapters and their fillets with gold, but their five sockets were of brass. And that's it for today, y'all. God bless you.